welcome Virgo to your weekly reading, the 2nd of May to the 9th of May. Virgo, we're going to have a look at the Oracle cards to get an idea of what's coming in for you this week. And then we're going to get further clarification with the Tarot cards. Okay, what? Virgo, okay, so this looks like quite a positive week coming in for you. What we have is the travel card. So this tells me basically that you might be making short short distance or long distance travel. Um, you could be visiting perhaps another city, another town, or even maybe in a, uh, going a, abroad this week. There's definitely some kind of movement. It could also be perhaps that you're just going to a place or um, that you don't usually go to. So there's like something new about it. It could even be like a new restaurant, a new club. There's just some kind of travel for me in, in, in a weekly reading would be going somewhere for the first time. So we can definitely expect that happening for you this week. And then we've got this lovely confidence card, which tells me that this week you're going to be feeling really good. See how her wings are are out there spread wide. She's feeling good. She's feeling confident. You really feel like you probably can take on things that you um, haven't been able to take on or want to take on in the last few weeks. You're feeling more positive, more optimistic, more enthusiastic, and those wings are spread and ready to fly. Okay, let's get some Clarification with the tarot cards to see what's coming in with for our dear Virgos this month. The first card we get is the Queen of Wands. Oh, this is nice. We've got the World, the Lovers. Let's get two more cards for our dear Virgos. We've got the Two of Swords and then one more card, the Five of Swords. All right. Let's make sure you can see everything nice and clearly. Okay, Virgo. So this is really, you know, I've got the Queen of Wands here. And this, this is how you are presenting no matter what your gender is. You are feeling really strong, powerful. Um, you've got your energy back, your mojo back. You're feeling like ready to create, manifest things, looking at options, looking at possibilities. I'm getting out there if it's about travel. We've also got the world card here. So also another card confirming a little bit of movement and travel. You're actually looking very good. So you've got a bit of a glow up happening this week. So all in all, the Queen of Wands is really nice and positive. We've got the world card, which also tells me there could definitely be some kind of traveling coming up because we've got, you know, traveling the world and we've got the travel here, moving, going, seeing, doing, getting out and about. Okay. Then we've got another little interesting scenario that could be coming up for you this week. There might be a decision that you have to make this week, um, Virgo, and the thing is, what's got you a little bit stuck is that the decision you have to make, you are, you like both options, but you can only choose one. And this might cause a little bit of inner going around and around and around in your head. What should I do? What should I do? And then you start getting a little bit stuck and you kind of find your, you, you kind of find yourself going down a little bit of a, a how hole that you create for yourself. So the trick is right now, because both options seem to be really, really good, is just not to become your own worst enemy, just over this, this um, decision making, if it's relevant to you. It's just about taking your time, doing things in your, at your own pace, not feeling pressurized, because when you're feeling pressurized, you're going to start getting stressed out. And then, you know, it's, it's just, it's a, it's a nice choice to make. Take your time, maybe do a pros and cons list, maybe uh, chat to a trusted friend, family member, get a couple of opinions, and then make your decision. Because either way, you can't go wrong. Both decisions look like they, they're going to really work well for you. So, just don't create this tense situation for you. It's not necessary. Okay, dear Virgos. So let's get a message for your guys for this week. And we've got the lovely card. 
self-esteem. Our guardian angel, Michael. Your self-esteem is really up there this week. You're feeling good. You're feeling positive. You're feeling like you can take on the world. So there you have it, my dear Virgos. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please go ahead and give it the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm sending lots of love.